See, I like those. I like those songs already. Now, for you, I would say you got to. Uh, strings. That's strings two and three.
asked you a number of times what and how do you play this stuff and basically as you know everything goes. Well I was thinking about that the other night because sometimes I get lost in that and okay what do I do next? And a lot of times as you've seen I put something in there that's oh, fuck up. <laughs> yeah this jam is great. Oh yeah it was, it was good. I screwed up a few times but anyway Instead of asking, you know, how and that really made me mad too. But go on. <laughs> uh, what are some things you don't do? Obviously, you're trying to get on key all the time. But I have found that when I'm doing some stuff, it doesn't sound good. But it seems I, I, like I, I didn't hear anything like okay. that today. Okay. So uh, I, I think the important thing is I, I wouldn't. Let me just. Well, I'll leave that on. But I'm not sure. It's, I'm thinking off, off the top of my head here. But I don't think you should look at what it is you shouldn't do. I mean, okay. there's there's a the list is infinite what you shouldn't do. Okay. Yeah, you know. So you you know you don't want to play in a different key. You don't want to play out of tune. You don't want to continually play notes and never stop. Yeah. You know. So I I mean the things that you should do is what you what kind of what you're doing. Play a lot. Like I mean when I mean when I say play a lot, play every day. Yeah. Play as long as you can. You know, that's how you get good. I can see a big improvement. Okay. Uh, but I, I, I think, like, mixing it up, like what you're doing, that was, there was a lot of changes and things in there. I, the, the strength of your playing was good. You had a lot of power between, you know, rather than going... You were going... There was a lot more force in the playing, and that's a really big... That's the feeling. That feeling comes across. That That's one of the... Probably one of the strongest emotions that comes across is that intensity, you know, that, I, I, I call it rage, you know, it's yeah. like that blues guy, like, oh my baby, it's just like, you know, it's just, you know, cheated on me. But you know, that's, that's the thing that, all my whole life, I, I, I've thought about it, but I'm looking at my childhood through adult eyes, of uh, issues that I observed as a child. And so my interpretation might not be correct, but, when I recall growing up, I was never encouraged to yeah. express myself. Oh, yeah. And you know, it's, you know, get, you're being too noisy, you're doing this, doing that, go play or something. Never encouraged to, well, oh, gee, you know, you want a guitar? You know, the only one, the first one I got, I spent, my parents spent, I was 10 or 20 bucks down in Mexico. Uh -huh. I got in the my first one was out of the Sears catalog. Yeah. $16. Yeah. And Aerobot. so, that, that, that was my childhood and early adulthood. It was like, okay, you like it, but there was never any encouragement in what I did. Yeah, you know, the thing is, it's hard to do. I mean, it's not easy to cut loose. Yeah. And it's not easy to do that, especially in front of people. You know, you don't want to look silly, you know. Yeah. But people want to see you cut loose. Yes. They want to see that. And, and, and it's just a weird barrier to cross. You just got to... I don't know, I mean, drop your inhibitions, you know, and cut loose, you yeah. know, and I mean, I've seen videos of me looking like the Phantom of the Opera, just, yeah, and it looks horrible, but nobody ever says anything too bad to me about it, you know, so once in a while somebody say, boy, you really make the face. Well, I, I told you about my uh, experience of watching, uh, what's his name, John Mayer, yeah. what a dork he was and everything, and then the next day I'm watching, uh, uh, what the hell's his name, Rolling Stones. Keith Richards? No. Uh, In the band? Jagger. Oh. <laughs> I'm watching him and back for an old 60s video. And you talk about spastic. Right. <laughs> you know, you, I mean, you know, I, you, the, probably, I almost don't even want to say this on camera, but, you know, like I was, I was a, I still am a popular guitar player where I came from. And I was the guy who was just freaking out on stage all the time. And it was just like, you know, the, you know I tried everything. I even, one time I even wore a Jesus robe and built a, uh, an amp out of like thin plywood. And, I, and like, of course, from the audience, you see amps, you know, I'm not paying attention with that. As I even painted like, and in the middle of a song, with, I came up with a Jesus robe and I kicked the shit out of my amp. Cops came and dragged me away, you know, because they thought I was really doing some damage. I mean, I've done a lot of weird stuff in my life. I don't do that anymore. Wipe huh? the head off a bat? Yeah, no, I didn't do that much. But, you know, everybody, the rockers seem to pick up on that. You know, I thought maybe, 
in the beginning, I was the only one that I, I that I knew of that was doing that. But I realized that rock everywhere does that kind yeah. of stuff. You know, it's just you just gotta cut loose. Now with you, I just see you just not. I mean. You can't worry about what you look like too much. Right. I, I don't like being on stage because I got a really high forehead and I look better head on than I do with my head down like this <laughs> and my hair up like this, you know. And, and I, there's things I just, no matter, I just never got used to certain things, yeah. but you just got to forget it. just got to yeah. go for it. You just got to go for it. And that's all I can say. That was a good jam. Right, and I still try to do that. Every once in a while, I, I, I try to break loose and go, oh, wow, you know, that was good. And it sounded good. And I didn't feel like an idiot doing it. Yeah. Because, you know, out of my adult life, I mean, every job I've had, I guess, other than the first two, uh, was in a very prim and proper environment, you know, business environment and what have you. So, no, you don't cut loose there unless, you know, you only have your close audience. Right, right exactly. Well, you know, I, the ways to break out of that is, I mean, I, well, you will, you'll never do some of this stuff, but never I used know. to videotape myself playing. You just saw this little idea. It's like I'm a little camera home. You know, and, and I just let myself try to be as good as I could be, as wild as I had to be to be good or whatever. And I'd watch it and decide what I needed to fix for sure. Yeah. And some things had to be fixed. Yeah. You know, and other things I thought looked okay, you know. Yeah. Uh, and you know, that was one thing I did was I you know, I videotaped myself. I also recorded myself a lot so I could hear my notes. Yeah. You know? But uh, another thing would be to go ahead and play when there's when there's other people around. It makes it hard. I mean, I you know, uh, even when I teach, a lot of the times I might not feel like playing lead, but a new student's going to want to hear what I can do. You yeah. know, they want to be impressed so they can, you know, copy the teacher kind of thing. And I just like you know, sometimes I just you know. I, People say, they, they might hear that I'm a good guitar player, they'll say, okay, we'll play something. Well, when you're sitting like this, it's really hard for me to go, you know, like this. I can do it on stage because yeah. there's distance, but one-on-one, -on -one, I kind of want to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's uh, drop tuning. <laughs> <laughs> But but you got this you got the story. It's just like you have to kind of learn to know yourself. It's like in this kind of a context, you're used to seeing me kind of freak out a little bit, and I do it kind of in jest anyway. So, it's, uh, but you gotta you gotta test yourself in situations. Like I would strongly suggest you put your amp out on the steps of your place and just be outside. Somebody's gonna go by and hear you. Somebody, you know, you realize people can hear you. Oh, they do. Yeah. Somebody out my garage a lot. You, uh, but you, you know that for a fact because they've called the police on you. You know, so anyway. I haven't been that loud. But yeah, I was out the other day walking my dog and uh, so the guy was out walking his dog and uh, just happened to pull up uh, right in front of my house or walk up right in front of my house we were talking and everything. I said, yeah, he said, where do you live? I said, right there. He goes, oh, you're the guy that plays the guitar all the time. Yeah. Said, is it any good? He goes, yeah, not bad. <laughs> okay. So I've had a few people like that. I said, just like, don't call the cops on me. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah right, right, right. <laughs> well, I think, I think putting yourself in a situation where somebody may hear, uh, like, I mean, the, the easiest thing is to go out in front of your house, you know, and, 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 and practice that way to get past some of that, you know, and then realize that, Either that you're the kind of guy who's a little inhibited because you never were encouraged to let cut loose and stuff. And those are the, you just gotta, I mean, it's, there's no, for me, I've never tried to explain it too much, but uh, there's no real easy answer. You just kind of gotta do yeah, it. Yeah, okay, no, I understand, because it, it, it's basically as I thought, and just a matter of me figuring out how to get there. Yeah, you just gotta, you, you know, I, and I'm, I'm not one to talk because I've got a lot of self consciousness, you know. So do I. Oh. Yeah. I mean, hey, you know, I can, I, I play all the time and I'm really good in the room here, you know. Uh, then it's time to go on stage and my mind is a blank. I have to, I warm up, you know, I'm back. I go through my little rules, yeah. okay, play light. You know. Well, it's like, not only like I used to give speeches and what have you, you know, obviously I've got to know the subject matter pretty well. Right, right, right. And be able to talk about it uh, almost uh, as, as in a casual conversation, but I'm doing it to an audience, 
and yeah, I've got to have my confidence and everything else. So it's very similar in that regard. It's, it's, to me, it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and you know, but but the one thing to keep in mind, and you know this already, but people, for the most part, unless somebody's, you know, jealous of you or out to get you, people want you to do good. They, yeah. they, you know, when I when I did that Steve Vai thing. I don't think I ever told you this. I, I, I don't want to waste our lesson on this, but I just got to say, I went out in front of 1,800 people. And during the sound check, I gave them a CD for a backup track so I could play because I wasn't going to get to play with the band. I yeah. had to do my own thing. And they couldn't get my CD to work, so they, they dumped it onto a computer this and that, and they put it back, and they were doing some stuff. And then we tested it, and it was, you know, we did a sound check, and it worked, and everything is fine. And then when it was time to go and play, I went out on stage, and the, and the guy had left it in the middle of the CD, so it started up in the middle somewhere. And I didn't know where it was, <laughs> so I just started playing. Now, uh, the reason I'm telling you this, oh yeah, I started playing, and I didn't know what the heck was going on, and I even, I think I even went, like this a couple of times, I didn't know. Then it stopped, and I walked off the stage, but when I, when I, I, it was only 30 seconds, right? And I walked off the stage and the place just roared in approval, because they wanted me to succeed. Yeah. But it was a complete disaster, and I got off stage and the guy says, we're gonna do it from the top, go and start again. And I did it again from the top, I, I didn't want to go back out there. You know, but everybody just roared with approval, be even though it was 30 seconds of me just being out there, probably making no sense whatsoever. And, yeah, you know, and, and you just got to realize people are rooting for you. Yeah, they really are. That's the story. Okay, uh, let's let's just give me, show me some licks. Yeah. Well. That's, there, that's t another thing that I do that I didn't probably tell you about it today when we were talking, but, you know, I, I put my licks in an order so that... Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, I haven't, you know, it's like... I haven't to do that yet. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, like, you have these licks. You have this one. And you have this one. And what I showed you last week was... It's, I travel different than some guitar players. So I travel, I travel uh, vertically on the guitar more because I like, I like the distance. I like, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Most people go. That's like traveling more horizontal. Right. I don't do it that way. I travel differently. Yeah. It's, I do that on purpose. Uh, so, but, but here's your lick. It's, it's, it's the, you're, you're thinking about, you don't have to bar them, but, but you could just get your bearing. You go. So you go. No, no, I didn't do that. Go. Oh, you gotta you know, do it with your third finger. I don't have my slide. That's it. licks you 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 can't you know like how we talked about sitting back and watching it like from a distance like somebody else is looking at you still got to be able to hear that lick in your head like I can't sing it but it'd be la la da 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 yeah. you know I know how it goes one two 
three. Da -da 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 -da. Two. You have to know it in your head, yeah. you know, to execute it. And then you branch off, like, you know, one, two, three. All I did was do another lick that we know, you yeah. know, so I got two new licks. Now they sound great together, yeah. you know, and you can get away with just doing them just like that, especially during practice for a long time. But, but you're going to get tired of it, yeah. you know, so you're going to want to branch out and you can branch out a couple different ways. But I need you to learn that lick. One, two, three. There you go. Too, but we're not doing that. One. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three. Finger off. Uh, well, it goes on after you hit the note. Oh. It's that, it's that, then it's that. Yeah, so the real, the real, that real bridge is from here and those two. It's like, dee dee dee. That's the catchy thing to me. That's great. Now to me, that that lick is one that you never want to forget because it's it gives you speed because you're traveling across this. Go like this. What is that? My phone. <laughs> Tell your girlfriend that you're doing guitars and stuff. You know she can't just call you 15 times exactly. an hour. You know. Oh yes, who I was talking on the phone with. It sounds she calls too much. <laughs> like so, check this out. You have this one, two, three. Remember, you got this is the key note here. That's the four. Those no, it's uh, in order, ascending. Again. insist that you remember that lick. Tenth position, first fingers barring strings one, two, and three. Uh, it's all ascending notes except for the last note comes back. But it's, that's your third string on the ten. And then, because you have a slide on this finger, you, you go. Now it comes in best on one, two, three. It comes uh, one, two, three, da da. Right before the four, it's a pickup. This note here would be called a pickup note. I hate to get technical, but we want to, like, if without the pickup note, it would be this one, two, three, four. It would be right on the four, but you have to go. Right before the four, they call that a pickup note. One, here's here's without the pickup note. One, two, three, four. Now with the pickup note, it's one, one and two. One, uh, let's see, I, I don't want to. I'll give it to you in eighths. One and two and three and. It's on the and. Yeah. One. Now you want to learn it just like that. You could sit there and do nothing but that lick. And from there, this will give you some, like, listen, like, go like this, go. No, right. 
talking about that third finger. There, go. Go. Now add this note, go. The high string. Yeah. Hear how fast that is? Treat it like a rake, like that kind of thing. Go, like don't even worry. Like you're, you're, this is your target. Just go. Just You need this finger there, though. You gotta. That's good. That's. No, don't start doing that. Just, just, just don't worry about the timing so much. Just. You're starting to play to the beat, which is very good. And now for your focus, you break it up. Just, you got this. Do that. That's, I like that. That's fine. It's thing I know you're not intended and then yep now do you remember the first lick one two three and okay. it starts off the first finger it's all ascending Now you take it real slow when you're at home. You need to memorize that lick. I, I think we would have a better lesson next time than, uh, I mean, this was a, this was had a lot of good jamming in it, yeah. you know, but talking about different things, I guess. That's right. I mean, it it's all, it's all the questions I have. And I know probably it's something we covered before, and I'm remembering it, and I want to get confirmation from you. Which you know, I mean. We're all we're all the same, you know. Like Steve Vai, Jimi Hendrix, and the guy next door. We all have the same deals, things we deal with, yeah. insecurities, and you know, challenges, and you know, all these things. We're all like that. We all all of our challenges are. We all have different ones. Yeah. You know, you know like I have a real uh, well. I you want more? No. Okay. I uh, you know. Like, I'm super, super shy. You know, you wouldn't maybe know it. That's why it's so weird. Oh, so am I. Yeah, super shy. One-on-one, -on -one I'm fine. But yeah. you throw me in front of an audience and, oh, fuck, <laughs> it's hard. You wouldn't know that. Huh? I know. Well, you know, and, and believe me, I have challenges. The drummer is usually playing too fast. The bass player is usually playing too loud. They usually don't know the song that they should. Yeah. So I'm struck with, I'm stuck with all that. Then I'm worried about, am I in tune? I'm worried about what I look like. I'm worried about all kinds of well, things. I never saw that last time you played over at the dive bar. Yeah, I had all, I had all of those, all of the above at yeah. the last gig. All yeah. of the above. The drummer doesn't know what he's doing, you know. But you want a one, two, three, and. Because this right here, this gives you two of the biggest, the, the two of the, well, all the blues, all the pentatonic tones are good, but the four and the seven are really big blues tones. You can land on those and they sound like, we all have a tendency to land on the roots and the thirds like. They're all important. Here's the third, minor third. But you thought the landing on the four and the seven is real bluesy. There's yeah. nothing wrong with landing there and staying there. And then same with the flat seven. Just that's your last note. The landing on the four is your last note. Landing on the seven is your last note. And that really is bluesy. So, uh, but this right here gives you two things. It gives you. It gives you uh, a, a lift that gives you speed because you're crossing strings. Okay. And once you get really good at this, you can add a note. You know. 
I just added this in front of it. It's the same lick, but I placed this with that, and then I added this. One, two. Nah, I can't do it that way. I can't count because I'm playing fast now. Yeah, I gotta take a leak. Oh yeah. Quick. I think I'm starting to have some weird. Uh... It's a matter, I mean, I, it was a weird lesson. I didn't mean it to go the no, way. No.